I have one of the big governors on the up and up where I can help the poor man, the middle man, and the rich man if he'll behave himself. The legacy of Huey Long continued with his brother Earl. Many people remember Earl as outspoken, impulsive, and colorful, if not crazy. But it was Earl who instituted populist platforms that became an integral part of Louisiana political culture, programs people heard about at old-time stump-speaking rallies. They tell you that Louisiana is the highest tax state in the nation. Ain't so. Consider what we give and what we do for our people. It's the lowest tax state in the nation. Oh, yeah, we help police juries. We help the cities. All that. You know what they do in Texas? They let them root for themselves. Oh, yeah. They tax I remember uh, the early long days. Uh, very few people had the radios. We had no television. And we said, hey, man, the governor's coming to campaign in our town. And let's go out and start cooking. It was dangerous to be a chicken in those days because if you were, they'd probably barbecue you for that day. The Earl K. Long Program. Presenting Jack Grumion, candidate for Attorney General. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Grumion. Now, I cannot tell you all about this platform, but there are four important planks in that platform that I would like to tell you about. And the four important planks in that platform are these. Number one, no new taxes. Governor Long says that there will be absolutely no new taxes. When Earl Long became governor in, in 1956, I believe it was, he promised every man and woman over 65 years old, he said, 30 days, when I go in that mansion, you're going to get a $50 check. My mother and father was living this. My mother died in my home about 10 years ago. She got a, a $50. She never was on the welfare. She got that $50 till she died. Uh, this was a state that people depended on politics uh, for the, a source of income, uh, for, he for health, for education. It was a true welfare state. And in a welfare state, when you depend on politics for your, for your well-being, you have a great interest in politics. There's only two classes of people that can get first-class hospital treatment. That's the poor poor and the rich rich. All right? Why it's so high Ordinary man can't afford to be sick. So I guess that's where they practice that Christian science, you know. 